similar to Hunger Games and Maze Runner, if you've seen those movies, um, kind of along the same storyline as those. And it's about different groups of people split up in, into factions according to what they... What the personalities? Personalities, I would say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Traits. Traits, personalities, um, and they kind of, once you're in your group, your faction, then you are only with those people, and you're doing your own thing, kind of your con contribution to society, in, in a way, and it's about the main character. <laughs> <laughs> this was kind of a hard one to summarize. Yeah. Without it, yeah, it's yeah, her spoilers. spoilers. Yeah, it's her dealing with problems with you know their society, you know, yeah. problems that are hidden beneath the surface. She she has a hard time finding out which faction she belongs in. Yeah, and about people who don't conform to society's yeah. you know and, standards and. Uh, kind of government of this, fa of these factions is trying to eliminate the people that don't conform to one faction. They're divergent. And so the, the whole plot of the movie is her trying to hide from this government as being divergent. <laughs> so you find out you find out yeah. yeah it's it's a really cool movie oh. I liked it why'd you pick it cause I wanted you guys to see it that's about it fair reason alright uh I like Divergent I was a movie that I had seen multiple trailers for and I just never had the time to watch it something that I'd always wanted to watch and it was really put into a situation where I could Glad that I was able to. Uh, I don't know the character, I can't remember. The chick from Fault in Our Stars, right? Yeah. Triss. 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 Yeah. Triss. Well, Triss I, I don't know her real, like, her. Her acting. Oh, I don't know. She's the annoying girl. In the yeah. Super Life, the American Teenager. She's a girl. Oh, she's in that, too? It's like where she got her start. Oh, my God. oh is she the main character? Yeah. Really? The one, like, the show starts out when she got knocked up by the bad boy. It's one of those. <laughs> <laughs> And then and Divergent! <laughs> Speaking of Divergent... Uh, yeah, we got a little Divergent. What was I going to say? <laughs> I don't know. It was a damn good movie. I'm kind of a basic bitch, so <laughs> I like these easily likable movies. Hunger Games, Maze Runner, Divergent. I think they're uh, super tailored towards... I don't know. A certain... I don't know. It's a... Very direct genre. Mm -hmm. That's they're all they're all kind of the same, but I love them all. I love Hunger Games, Maze Runner, this, but that's just kind of the kind of person I am. Where would you rank it for those other movies? Like Hunger, Hunger Games, Maze Runner, Maze Runner. Uh, it's hard. I really liked Hunger Games. Hunger Games is at the top of my list. Probably only because I actually read the books for that one. I haven't read the books for any of the other two. And there's only one movie out for both of the other ones. So it's hard to top that. Mm -hmm. I think... I think I would put... It's hard. I'd put Divergent above Maze Runner. Really? Slightly. Just because... I am, well, I'm psyched for the second movie on both of them. Just because they both had great cliffhangers. And got you hooked ready for the second one. Yeah. But yeah, 
Anyways, Divergent. Uh, yeah, good, good movie. I uh, wish I remembered who the actors were. People. People. <laughs> Other than that one crazy chick. Uh, yeah, good, good twists and turns. Stuff I wasn't expecting. I called a couple of things that I was proud of. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, for me, Divergent. I honestly went into the movie fairly close-minded. Um, I was like, seen? no, I, I I never seen it. I went into it very close-minded because I was like, great, another dystopian film with a female lead. Um, again, not to be sexist or anything, but I'm actually trying. I I brought it up a few times. When's the last standalone series that came out with a male protagonist that's actually been well established and successful? When you think about like the last three series that have come out, it's, it was what, Twilight, and then Hunger Games, and then now Divergent is establishing itself. Um, I, Maze, but right, Maze Runner is not well established yeah. and successful yet. It might get there, you know, it but you know, Harry Potter is the last big one that we could really think of, and that started a long time ago now. 2001? Damn, we're old. Um, maybe Pirates of the Caribbean? But Elizabeth Swann is arguably a protagonist. Two thousand one. Two thousand one also. We're old guys. We are very, <laughs> we're very old. Seriously. Percy Jackson, but that those movies. Some of our shit. They weren't great. They're horrible. Don't get me wrong. I understand that women had to watch male leads for the, 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 the entire history of film. <laughs> but like, good lord, I am all about equality and now we are completely shifting in the other direction and I'm ready to have some testosterone back into these movies. Um, testosterone from a male because honestly Tris in this movie was pretty much a badass. Testosterone filled. Um, I want to say that even though I went in kind of closed minded I quickly uh, became drawn into it. Um, personally I, I haven't seen Maze Runner. I say it's miles ahead of the first Hunger um, to me, they're not even close. For me, the Hunger Games movie, the first one was very meh, like, okay, you know, it's, it's a cool concept, but poorly executed, in my opinion. Catching Fire really liked how it took a darker turn, um, kind of showed, uh, a lot of character development, and then, uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman's character, I don't know, I love Twister, first of all, um, so I, I, I absolutely loved that movie. And then Mocking Jerry Part 1 um, is ranked just above Tusk. <laughs> just, just kidding. Just kidding. It wasn't that bad. I hated the first half of Mocking Jerry Part 1, and the second half was actually a, a movie. Um, <laughs> the first half was a movie about them making commercials, and I got really tired of it. Much like I hear people get tired of that book. Um, Worst so, book ever. <laughs> just it's like not Katniss. worth it. You have to fight through it, it's not worth it. So, but That's what they're aiming for, though. Um, they put me in this situation. The movie was yeah. set up a little differently. It actually, their, their society they had set up reminded me a lot of The Giver. If anyone's read The Giver or seen the movie The Giver, it reminded me a lot like that, where they're kind of assigned roles, but instead they get to pick their roles. Um, you know, they have a choice, and in that way it helps keep the population happy or uh, under control. It's, it's really, really, I thought it was really interesting. Um, it was, I thought the, the way they had the faction set up was really, really cool. Um, and I liked how she wasn't the only special character. She was not one of a kind. She was not really made a symbol, really. You know, as Katniss is, made a symbol. Or as Bella becomes very special in the Twilight movies. Um, the movie didn't upplay her a significance at all. And in fact, I would say it kind of beat her down a little bit. And I really enjoyed that. Um, not because she was getting <laughs> beat. I, you know. Boy, Derek, you're gonna roll here. The ladies are gonna love you when you see this. You're really winning in this. I'm, just, I'm, I'm just saying, like, because she actually had to fight through adversity. Mm -hmm. and, I, and so by the end of the movie, not only was I drawn in, but the movie ended, I'm like, you know what, when I have time, I have to read these books. Um, I, I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by this movie, so. Alright, Divergent. Um, I really liked Divergent. I was really surprised. I, 
I mean, I did came in just like whatever. It's another one of these, kind of the same way you did. But I was really surprised. Um, I, 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 the protagonist was engaging. Um, kind of cool conflict. I really didn't know where it was going. I, it was not the movie I expected it to be. And really, some cool concepts. Kind of different approach to this kind of movies that we've been seeing a lot recently. And comparing to like other movies that are like, like this, I think it's better than all three of the Hunger Games movies. Um, Hunger Games is all right. Pretty average movie. Catching Fire, I really like, and Mocking Jay's garbage. I'd rather watch Tusk. Um, I, I would honestly rather watch Tusk than Mocking Jay Part One. Or else, I no. I'd rather be no. Okay, I wouldn't rather be turned into a walrus than watch Mark, Mocking Jay Part One. But it's close. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, I like the Mage Runner better than Divergent. But still, Divergent was a, a very good movie. I, I, I have one problem with this movie: spoilers. My legs are tangling off the edge. The bottom of the bottle is my only friend. Okay. My one and only real problem with this movie is in the very end, when she's fighting the bad bitch at the end, the bad guy, the main antagonist, she could have stabbed her in the head, and this would all be over. They wouldn't need any sequels. She could have ended the story. You could just stomp her throat or something and just take her out. But no. In fairness, you don't know that. You don't know how significant It's safe to assume, I think, that she'll become a recurring villain. I don't know. I could be completely wrong. But when you have the opportunity to take out the person who murdered your parents, you should probably well, take them out too. She indirectly murdered them. So yeah. She was in charge of the people who took out her parents. I would have taken her out. I would have stepped on her throat. And you can use her as a weapon. No, it's, I, mean, it, it's, I think there's higher powers out there. I mean, it's probably, you know, otherwise there wouldn't be sequels, but uh, that was my really only complaint. It's just like, come on, just, just fucking kill her. Uh, other than that, I didn't have any problems. I really enjoyed the movie quite a bit. Um, and I'm excited to see the sequel. And I wasn't before. I thought the, the trailer for the sequel looked dumb, but now I understand it. I thought the trailer for the second one looked badass, and I had no idea what was going on. I was rolling my eyes. I still don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen the movie now. now. Now I would like to see the sequel, now that I've seen the first one. So. Do you have anything else to say? Um... Kind of like going along with you guys, when I first saw this movie for the first time, or, or heard about it, I was like, oh, like, I didn't even, like, remember any trailers from it, like, it didn't really seem like a movie that, um, that I would go out of my way to watch, and then, um, I had a friend tell me about it, and I watched it with them, and I was like, this is fucking crazy, <laughs> and it's, it's definitely my top ten favorite movie list of all time. Oh, wow. Okay. So, okay.